Saturday, September 21st, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $124. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Four Missouri women were detained by law enforcers in a Walmart this week after a nervous busybody called the police when she saw the women were openly wearing holstered handguns on their hips while they stood in line for a soft drink. Of course, this is perfectly legal and no cause for alarm. The women, who were all in their early 20s, were filmed by friends. Cops demanded all of their IDs. Even though police have no right to demand an ID from a person who isn't suspected of a crime, it was probably the smart thing to do that the people in the video complied with the law enforcer's demands. Their tensions are already high, and all that's escalated when they're responding to a call about a gun. This story brought to you by the Sons of Liberty Mint. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce the most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. Angel Clark reports at noarmycanstopanidea.com that Bolivian President Evo Morales will join in solidarity with Venezuela in filing a lawsuit against the U.S. government in international court for its intimidation tactics, fear-mongering, and imperialism. Morales said, quote, I would like to announce that we are preparing a lawsuit against Barack Obama to condemn him for crimes against humanity. Morales also suggested that the governments of Latin American countries withdraw their ambassadors from the U.S. to send a message to the U.S. government. He's also calling for allies to boycott the next meeting of the U.N. In other news, a modern-day Mowgli has emerged from the wilderness of Siberia after recently separating from his parents to become independent and explore the world. The man, who was raised in the wild, is 20 years old and said his parents left society when he was four. The first thing the local government did when the man came forward was offer a social security card so the boy could receive so-called state benefits. Don't fall for it! It's a trap! This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. A popular app called Lyft connects drivers to passengers who request rides. Drivers are screened with DMV and background checks, and Lyft's platform has a first-of-its-kind liability insurance policy. Once a ride is complete, passengers are prompted to donate seamlessly through the app. Last year, bureaucrats from the California government ordered Lyft to stop allowing people to use its service or face penalties of fines or imprisonment. The many satisfied app users were outraged that their peer-to-peer -peer transport solution had suddenly disappeared. This week on their blog, Lyft reports that a year after first receiving threats from the government, now this week, quote, the California Public Utilities Commission made history with a unanimous, groundbreaking vote to authorize peer-to-peer -peer transportation in the state of California. The app creators contacted Bitcoin legend Roger Ver with this information, who offered them the following thought-provoking public reply. Quote, John and Logan, I think you're looking at this wrong. It's insane to think that strangers, who've never met any of us, sitting in some building in Sacramento, have any moral legitimacy to forbid or permit people from giving other people rides in their cars in exchange for money. I'm a huge fan of Lyft, but I would have a lot more respect for you if you would publicly deny the authority of a group of strangers calling themselves the state of California to tell people what they can and can't do with their own cars. You should make it clear that you only comply with their dictates because men with guns will hurt you if you don't. I wish you the best of luck with your business. Signed, Roger Ver. And speaking of men with guns who will hurt you if you don't do what they say, the New Jersey legislature passed a law this week that will allow children suffering from cancer to have relief in the form of edible marijuana. Although Chris Christie said he doesn't believe marijuana can be medicine, it appears he has an appreciation for baked goods. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>